For a sec, come over mm -hmm. here a second. Ah, good. Yeah. Yes, 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 good. And then put your hands behind so you, lean back against there. So you gotta make it. This way? Fall back. Even further? Yeah, let your leg cross over and give the body relax. And then, now there's ah, a. Ah, there we go. Oh my God. <laughs> ah, do I look beautiful, I hope? No, you look beautiful. I'm Colleen Bailey, Executive Director of the National Steinbeck Center. And I guess I have a few things that, uh, that came to my mind as I was listening to our talk. Um, first of all, it makes me very proud to be part of the Salinas Valley and I share um, that feeling that Salinas is a place where real people live. And, uh, and, and that is, you know, what it's all about. Um, we're not fakes here. Um, we're for real and we're people who work the land and who understand the land and um, who appreciate the value of hard work and that's uh, certainly something that John Steinbeck valued. Um, and the beauty of the land of Salinas Valley is breathtaking. So um, I know that's why so many artists are attracted to this area. So, so many of you are artists and I guess this is my opportunity to say thank you to all of you who participated in this project and in the following project and in the project after that um, because really truthfully um, we at the National Steinbeck Center could not be successful without the contribution of so many artists in this area and um, what a rich place we live in. Um, where so many uh, people really see themselves, whether or not they make their living that way, as artists and uh, really value the land and uh, the culture and uh, the people, the industry of the Salinas Valley. So I want to thank you all for your contribution to the National Steinbeck Center. This is a place um, that is really for and about the people of Salinas Valley. So, um, so we appreciate your contribution to that. And, um, and I also just want to recognize Al as a teacher because I was a teacher and I know um, that a good teacher is almost harder to find than a good artist. And he has inspired so many of you and, uh, and I can tell in my short time in knowing him um, really what an incredible teacher he has been. And so um, for his dedication to all of you as artists as students of the art of photography, um, I just want to say thank you um, because that gift that you give to all of the people in this room is uh, so rich and it's the kind of thing that will be uh, life changing. So thank you for everything that you've given to all of these people and I know um, that the hours aren't just put into the, this, you know, the workshop, but there are many, many hours outside of the workshop <laughs> that go into um, the real teaching uh, that goes on. So thank you to you and for thinking of the National Steinbeck Center as a place to showcase something like this. Um, and I want to say also thank you to Deborah Salguero and to Christiana Colantoni, who are our staff people, who are the people responsible for making this show look as beautiful as it does. And um, they are tremendous assets to the National Steinbeck Center, and we are so thankful for their talent and contribution. So thank you to all of you for being here tonight to celebrate this great effort. So bravo. Yeah. I'm Deborah Soguero, the curator of the National Steinbeck Center. Well, as the curator of the National Steinbeck Center, this was really a privilege. I had Martin came to me, who was one of Al Weber's students, and he uh, presented me with some photos and said he would, they, was a donation for the National Steinbeck Center. But as I started to really look into the mission subject, I realized how this is really important historically. It's, uh, I mean, the architecture is beautiful, the history to California and how important it is to tell this mission story. But we've seen so many photos in the historical realm that I was really excited to see the contemporary version and sort of place that rightfully up as part of a mission photography show. Then I started to sort of curate it, and as I was talking to a few people in the exhibit, I wanted to show in the beginning of the show the landscape. I wanted to bring you into the church, walk you through each piece where you see the crosses, where you see the saints, and then all of a sudden you see the perspective. And, and you're, when you walk into a church, you typically sort of study it. You, if you're not Catholic, you sort of don't know if you, where you should sit, how you should bow. So there's this mystique. So hopefully the exhibit did that. And I 
placed everything. You guys, as the great photographers, made it so easy for me to sort of walk everyone as if they had been in the mission themselves. So thank you, as Colleen said, thank you for this opportunity.